So the gurus have told you about affiliate marketing and drop shipping and Amazon FBA and how to invest in crypto and how to start Airbnb and how to start a social media agency. And now you spend all your money on Dogecoin and you can't afford your next subscription payment to Shopify. And now they're coming to you again with yet another amazing business opportunity telling you to start an OnlyFans agency and you will become a bazillionaire in five seconds. Well, don't get too excited because here's what you need to know. So in 2020, I was sitting in federal prison. If you want to see that whole story, you can check the pinned comment below. But during that time period, there was of course a new business opportunity that was becoming very, very popular. And that is of course, OnlyFans. Now I've always been keen on trying every new business opportunity that presents itself. So when I got out of prison in 2021, my girlfriend was telling me about OnlyFans. Up to this point, I had done businesses in all kinds of categories ranging from action sports to home improvement to jewelry and meditation and all kinds of different things. And so why not give adult content a try? So she set up an OnlyFans account and I started helping her with her marketing. And to be honest, it's been an awesome business. Over that time, I've helped her become a top 1% creator. And then I also started documenting some of the strategies we were using on my other YouTube channel right here. And at this point, I've worked with dozens of top 1% creators, some of which are doing 10,000 a month, others are doing you know, upwards of 70, $80,000 per month on OnlyFans. But at the same time, I get you know OnlyFans managers and agencies who are trying to you know start this OnlyFans agency business. Why? Because there's all these gurus on YouTube telling everybody that they should go out there and start an OnlyFans agency and become a bazillionaire and all this kinds of stuff. And the reality is OnlyFans managers management is not going to work for the large majority of people that try. So if you're thinking about doing OnlyFans management or starting an OnlyFans agency or something like that, here's what you need to know. Now, first and foremost, I try not to be judgmental, but if your profile picture is you with an open, you know, V-neck or button down shirt showing off your chest and your shiny bling and you got a cigar hanging out your mouth, then basically what you're doing is shouting out to the world that you're a fuckboy e-pimp. And there's nothing more cringy to a top 1% OnlyFans model than a fuckboy e-pimp trying to start an OnlyFans agency so he can look cool in front of his friends. So just don't be that guy. And keep in mind, people that make real money don't fucking dress like that. Now, with that being said, here's how most people perceive the business. Typically what happens is they watch a YouTube video, one of the OnlyFans gurus talking about how you can make a bazillion dollars, you know, starting an OnlyFans agency. And it's so easy, you just go out there, you know, get some models and you do the marketing and they just, you know, they're gonna send you the content and they don't have to do anything. They just send you the content and then you're gonna take the content and you're gonna automate it, duplicate it, and you're gonna post it on TikTok, and you're gonna post it on Reddit, and you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do that. She's gonna get a bunch of fans and a bunch of traffic, and then you're gonna split the revenue. It's gonna be 50 50, and you're gonna make $100,000 per month super easy. Well, here's the thing it doesn't fucking work like that at all. Why? Because most of the marketing strategies when it comes to OnlyFans are model dependent. What that means is that they can't simply send you all of their content in a Google Drive folder, and then you go out there and do all the marketing. It doesn't work like that because the social networks spend countless millions of dollars to prevent the exact thing that you're trying to do. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, well, that's not a problem. I'm just going to set up a, you know, a few different VPNs, different IP addresses, set up a bunch of different phones, a bunch of different devices. I'm going to trick the platforms into thinking that it's all, you know, new, unique content going here and there and all these different places. And if that's your impression of how it works, then you have two options. A, you can believe me when I tell you that's not going to work. Or B, you can spend the next year or two wasting all of your time. So here's a more realistic version of how it would play out. How do I know? Because I literally get questions from dozens of OnlyFans managers and agencies every single day asking for help because they've been trying to do it for months and they can't get anything to work. Step one is you're gonna have to find a model who is willing to work with you. Now, at this point, because there are so many YouTube gurus telling everybody to start an OnlyFans agency and nobody knows what they're doing, most OnlyFans models are automatically extremely turned off and unwilling to entertain the idea of working with a manager or an agency or things like that. But let's assume that you got lucky and you found a model who is willing to work with you. Now, again, the biggest problem here is that most of the models that are going to be available to you are going to be smaller models that don't know how to market very well and they don't have very much traffic, which means they're going to be coming to you because they want help marketing, they want more traffic, and they want more fans. But as I mentioned earlier, most of the marketing and most of the traffic is model dependent 
dependent. It is primarily up to her to build a personal brand and become extremely good at social media so that she can generate traffic and fans on her own. There are, of course, certain things that you can do to help supplement traffic with automation and other various strategies. However, the majority of traffic and fans is going to be up to her. So what ends up happening 99% of the time is that a model will hire a manager or an agency with the expectation of getting a lot more traffic and fans. That manager or agency fails to fulfill that expectation because the manager thinks that they're just going to get all the content and do all the marketing and it's going to be super easy. And again, that's not the case at all. So the model ends up becoming very, very angry. So it all ends up crashing and burning 99% of the time. Now, with that being said, if you are lucky enough to find a model who is already doing really well on her own, meaning she already has a personal brand, she's already, you know, pretty big on social media. She already has a lot of traffic. She's already getting a lot of fans. And for whatever reason, she decides decides to work with you. In that case, there is a possibility of success because at that point, it really just comes down to optimizing the backend strategy because most models that are already doing really well and they already have a lot of traffic and fans, they simply don't have the time to you know, spend optimizing everything inside of their OnlyFans account. I should also add that I do know quite a few agencies and managers that are really successful because they've put in the time, they put in the work to really master their craft and become really good at what they're doing. But again, I'm talking to the 99% of people that think OnlyFans is a super easy, you know, side hustle and you can just, you know, get started and make a bunch of money when that's simply not the case. So the question is, is OnlyFans management or starting an OnlyFans agency a good business to start if you're just starting your entrepreneurship journey or trying to start your first business or your first, you know, side hustle or something like that? And for 99% of people, the answer is going to be probably not. Because here's the thing, OnlyFans, just like drop shipping, just like affiliate marketing, just like Amazon FBA, just like all of the other entry level business opportunities, there's an extremely low barrier to entry. And when you have an extremely low barrier to entry, you have hundreds of thousands or millions of other people that are trying to do the same exact thing. So if you're not better than millions of other people, if you don't really put in the time and effort to master your craft, it's not going to be an easy way to make money. You might be thinking to yourself, oh, well, you know, I know this girl and she's the best looking girl. She's a, you know, 10 out of 10 and blah, blah, whatever. Trust me when I tell you that looks are not the main factor when it comes to OnlyFans. Now, the reason that it worked for us is because we have a very specific set of circumstances. I happen to have over a decade of marketing experience, and I also happen to have a girlfriend who was interested in doing OnlyFans. We also happen to live together, which means I can be very hands-on with all of the marketing where when it comes to a lot of managers and agencies, you're trying to work remotely with, you know, models that are in a different part of the country or a different part of the world. And it's very difficult, again, specifically when they're trying to send you content and you're trying to take her content and do the marketing for her. It simply does not work that way. Now, with that being said, if you are in a similar situation as mine, or if you are someone who's trying to start a legitimate business and you are someone who's willing to put in the time, the work, the effort, you know, go in understanding that it's not an easy way to make money and it's going to take a lot of time and dedication to really master the skills that are required. If that sounds like you, then you can check out my other YouTube channel right here. I'll have this linked uh, in the description so you can check that out. But anyway, that's all I got for this video. Watch out for the gurus and just sell your fucking Dogecoin.